In this episode, we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead of driving down old dirt roads and dumping boats into random lakes, we're actually flying to Michigan where Hedden was started, where James Hedden first threw his original topwater bait. This is going to be an adventure for sure. We're here in Dowajak, Michigan at the Hedden Lures Museum, which is actually the Hedden Lures plant that was built in 1922. We're going to go in and talk to Joan and Don, the curators of the museum, about the history of Hedden Lures and how it began, and also how they came to purchase the building and how they're preserving Hedden history. The people who had bought Hedden tried to sell the building. They gave up and gave it to the city of Dowajak, and it sat empty. The building was deteriorating. So we personally bought the building in 1991 to save the building. A family friend came to us and said, you guys own the factory. There's an older gentleman in town who used to work for Hedden. He's got a lot of Hedden stuff. He wants to sell it. I will donate my time and show you how to start a museum to save the history for Dwajak. So Don and I said, well, we live in a restored house. We restore old cars. We both grew up fishing. We like history. We own the factory. Oh, why not? One of the things that Hedden, James Hedden, was most taken by was the notion of creating the most perfect topwater lure. And he did that after lots of experimentation. He kept records of over 500 strikes. All the things that a professional fisherman takes very seriously today, he was doing over 100 years ago. And during that winter, he had built 10,000 examples of this bait for sale that spring. In the eight weeks after the issuing of the patent, he sold out those 10,000 lures in eight weeks. And it was that explosion of opportunity that he saw that then went on to create the company that we know today. Well, we finally made it out to the legendary Mill Pond. Well, according to legend, this is where it all started. When we started the museum, my wife and I made a little deal that from that point forward, we would only use head and tackle, and it would have to be at least 50 years old. Wow, that's impressive. Um, uh, can you tell me a little bit about what you're using right now, like your rod and reel and everything? Yes, this is a 335 reel. Again, we're pushing out towards 100 years old on this reel. Wow. And it's a very different experience to cast a bamboo rod because they're quite stiff and you have to use all of the force from your body, your shoulder, your elbows, your arms. So it's a big looping cast that you do rather than using the flex of the rod to energize the bait out to the water. There's one. Get over here. Don, we talked yesterday a lot about the Lucky 13 and it's the oldest production lure that we have. And I believe you said it was in 1920 when this first hit the catalog, didn't you? Yes, it was a further development and refinement of the Wiggle King. The Wiggle King. Yeah. How come you think this bait has been so successful throughout the years and been kept so long? What's Catch, your opinion on that? It catches fish. It just really catches <laughs> yeah. fish, yeah. It's one of the best chuggers because that bottom lip, a little farther out, you can really make that thing dip and dive and chug as hard as you want, or you can just lightly pop it. But it's really neat to be able to still fish with a lure yeah. that was introduced so long ago and still be able to catch yeah, fish. It's almost 100 years ago. <laughs> as keeper of the Hedden Legacy through this museum, I am delighted with what Hedden is doing to perpetuate the brand to see it safely into another 100 years. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, sir.